Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by Prager U Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer a question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Joining us today, we have... Lyric. And... Becca. Before coming here, each of you read our Prager U Kids digital magazine about James A. Garfield from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Volcano surprise. Feta cheese. Stinky fish jello. Pickle juice spray. Toothpaste. Mystery eggs. Ketchup and mustard. Hidden messes. And a pie in the face. <laughs> Before we play, James A. Garfield was the 20th president of the United States from March 4th to September 19th, 1881. He was a brilliant man who mastered Latin, Greek, and mathematics. Garfield strongly supported the rights of black Americans, leaving an enduring legacy of equality. Sadly, he was the second president to be assassinated. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yeah! Awesome, the youngest player goes first. Everybody get your hands in the bowl. You're not allowed to take them out of the bowl for the entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Understood? Yes. Awesome, then let's get started. First question is for Lyric. Before becoming president, James A. Garfield was a what? A, doctor, B, chef, C, minister. Minister. That is correct, minister. Garfield was a devout Christian. He experienced a religious conversion at 18. Later writing, I was buried with Christ and arose to walk in the newness of life. He began preaching regularly and became a minister in the Disciples of Christ Church. First mess is for Becca. Lyric, you did this. Is this slime? Oh no. Volcano surprise. Oh yes. See, we don't just learn history here at PragerU Kids, we also love chemistry. Oh no. Do you like volcanoes? Um, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. See, so, this isn't too bad, is it? It's so clumpy. It is, for now. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and mix that all around. <laughs> The baking soda. <laughs> and there it goes. It's soda. Uh oh. Oh, it's over. It's gonna overflow. Oh. <laughs> that volcano's erupted. Mix. How does it feel in there? Good. Good. Oh. I think it's not too bad. It feels like soda. At least it's not like real lava. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> Next question is for Becca. Garfield mastered which foreign languages? A, Latin and Greek, B, German and French, C, Swahili and Esperanto. A, Latin and Greek. That is correct, yeah. Latin and Greek. While attending Western Reserve Eclectic Institute, Garfield studied and mastered Latin and Greek. He later taught these languages to incoming students and was such a good teacher that he was named school president. Speaking of Greece, we have some nice Greek cuisine for you. Feta cheese. Take away. You don't like the smell of that? No. Can't be that bad. <laughs> it is that bad. No. Take a nice little, little away. It smells like stinky socks. <laughs> it's pretty close. It's stinky cheese. And now you smell like it. <laughs> Want a bite? No. You sure? Mm -mm. Fine. <laughs> oh, it smells horrible over here. <laughs> Next question is for Lyric. Garfield once published a proof of which mathematical theorem? A, Euler, B, Granger, C, Pythagorean. C, Pythagorean. That is correct, Pythagorean. The Pythagorean theorem is a rule in geometry that helps you figure out the length of a triangle's sides. Garfield was so good at math that he developed an original proof of the theorem in 1876 while serving in Congress. Speaking of triangles, dinner has been served. <laughs> Do you like fish? Um, yeah. What about stinky fish jello? Uh. Ooh, I bet this is what the fish near the Titanic smell like. Take a look. Uh, it smells so bad. Oh. Well, it's swimming towards you. And it's off. There it goes. Oh, it's coming. That's a red thing. Lemons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fishy, fishy, come out and play. <laughs> you just crushed the whole fish. <laughs> now what are you making? I don't know. 
You look like you're scared of your bowl. I am. <laughs> Hasn't even gotten that bad no. yet. <laughs> Next question is for Becca. Garfield served as a major general during which war? The Civil War. That is? Correct, the Civil War. After the Civil War began in 1861, Garfield joined the Union Army and rose to become a major general. He fought bravely in the battles of Shiloh and Chickamauga, sometimes coming under enemy fire. <laughs> you really don't like pickles? Well, I like how they taste. I don't like how they smell. Oh, do you just want a bite of one instead? Yeah. It's only, let's see, two years expired. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Just a little crunch? No. Listen. <laughs> that was a nice crunch. Boop. <laughs> and now, some nice perfume for you. No. Have you accepted your fate with the pickle juice spray? Yes. Good. <laughs> now you smell like pickles. No. <laughs> oh, it is so smelly over here. I got pickle juice in my nose. Sorry, Luke. No. Want a little bit in your hair? No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, Lyric, you gave me the fish. Oh, just a little bit of payback. Do you want a pickle? Sure. <laughs> What's that sound? That means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, you each get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your James A. Garfield digital magazine. But there's a twist. You'll both be blindfolded for your question and mess. Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Lyric. Which American brothers are famous for inventing and flying the world's first powered airplane? A, John and Robert Kennedy, B, George and Jeb Bush, or C, Orville and Wilbur Wright? C, Orville and Wilbur Wright. That is correct, Orville and Wilbur Wright. The first powered flight took place on December 17th, 1903 in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Orville Wright flew what is known as the Wright Flyer, the airplane that he and his brother Wilbur designed. The flight lasted 12 seconds and traveled 120 feet. What do we have here? Oh, I've never seen these kind of bugs before. <laughs> wow, you hear that noise they're making? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel, Becca? Are you nervous? I'm ready. You look ready for these bugs to crawl all over you. Hopefully they don't bite. What do you think they are? Bugs? Wait. Looks like they have some friends coming in. They might be eating the fish in there. Patriot Pop Quiz question number two goes to Becca. Which sport is known as America's pastime? Um, football? That is incorrect. Let's see if Lyric can steal it. Soccer? That is incorrect. The correct answer is baseball. Baseball became popular in the United States during the 1800s. It is one of our nation's four major sports and has been called America's pastime. Many of baseball's greatest stars like Babe Ruth, Jackie Robinson, and Hank Aaron are iconic American figures. Oh, the next mess. Well, good news. This might eat some of the bugs in your bowl, Becca. <laughs> What do you think that is, Lyric? Oh, it smells like fish or something. I'm holding I my breath. Just take a, just a small sniff. It smells Not even so a little bad. bit? No. Okay. Well, you're going to have a rude awakening when you take your blindfold off. What is this? Want one in your hair, Lyric? No! Ah! Wow. It's crunchy. It smells kind of good. I can smell it. It smells, it smells good? It does not smell good. It smells like dog poop or bird poop. It smells like crab. Well, let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. <gasps> ew, 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 <laughs> ew, ew. So that is dried herring. Was it alive before? Oh, yes, it was. Look and they might that. come back to life with the mealworms and popcorn that's also in your bowl. Ew! Go ahead and stir your bowls up. I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. You no, can I do can't. it. I believe no, in you, Lyric. You can stir that bowl. <laughs> I stirred it. And now back to James A. Garfield. Next question is for Lyric. 
During Garfield's career, the Republican Party was divided into which two groups? A, Hatfields and McCoys, B, Halfbreeds and Stalwarts, C, North and South. B, Halfbreeds and Stalwarts. That is correct, Halfbreeds and Stalwarts. In the late 1800s, the Republican Party was divided between Halfbreeds, those who wanted to fight against the corrupt patronage system, and Stalwarts, those who accepted the patronage system. Garfield worked hard to bring both sides together and keep the party unified. Did you brush your teeth today? Yes. What's this thing? Dentures. Maybe it can eat the leaf in there. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but these teeth back here matter too. You need to brush those. And now let's fight some cavities in your bowl. I should put it all in your bowl, right? So it stinks less? Or maybe up on your arms. No! <laughs> and get all of it out of there. Don't waste the smallest little drop. This isn't too bad. And we got a brush. And take all that off. See, now you won't have any cavities when you leave. <laughs> Next question is to Becca. Which event did Garfield say was the most important political change since the adoption of the Constitution? A, winning the Mexican-American War, B, impeaching President Andrew Johnson, or C, granting citizenship to Black Americans? C, granting citizenship to Black Americans. That is correct, granting citizenship to Black Americans. Before the Civil War, Garfield opposed slavery. After the war, when slavery ended, he joined the radical Republicans, who strongly supported protecting Black Americans' rights. Any guesses? Are they real eggs or confetti today? Please confetti, please confetti. Please confetti? You don't like eggs? I do head. when I'm eating them, but no, near my hair or my hands. You don't want an egg in your hair? Are they real or are they confetti? Real, real, on her head. Confetti, 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 confetti. I'll be nice. Let's put the confetti in your bowl. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is your lucky day. Want a little bit in your hair? No. Just a little yes, bit? Yes, yes. Eggs are a really good conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> it's spiky. Just add a little color in your bowl. Some confetti for you, too. Now it's a party. Can you help me get this off my hands? <laughs> hey. <laughs> and just for that, and a little bit for you, too. <laughs> Next question is for Lyric. Garfield could write equally well with his right and left hands. What is this called? A, ambidextrous. B, amphibious. C, adopted. A, ambidextrous. That is correct. A, ambidextrous. Many historians believe that Garfield was the first left-handed president who was also ambidextrous, meaning he could use both hands equally well. Some even say that he could write with both of his hands at the same time. So that means he could write equally well with both of his hands. Do you think I could write with my hands like this? No, I don't think we can spread your fingers. Really? Look, they're spread. No. You know what I can do with both of these hands? I can stir those bowls up. Kinda. Kind of. I don't like these hands. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. And we got a nice mess for you, Becca. Mm. Do you like hot dogs? No. What about hamburgers? No. What else does ketchup and mustard go on? You! <laughs> Look, I can squirt both of these at the same time. I'm just like James Garfield. That's enough, right? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> you need the whole bottle. Oh, I think the ketchup's empty. Psych. <laughs> <sighs> Not a drop wasted. Hers looks chunky. It My is. Says too. Your bowl's looking extra disgusting today. And I can still see the chemical reaction from that volcano surprise. Now it's time for the final question, and this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. But there's another twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Make sure you listen to all answer choices before hitting your buzzer. Understood? Yes. yes. Then here we go. Final question. Garfield was the blank president to be assassinated. A, first, B, second, or C, Third. <laughs> Instant replay. Oh. 
All right, guys, it looks like Lyric hit the buzzer first. So Lyric, what's the answer? B, the second. That is? Oh, incorrect. You're getting a pie in the face. Yeah! Correct, the second yeah! president. Oh. <laughs> On July 2nd, 1881, a disturbed man named Charles Guiteau shot President Garfield at a train station in Washington, D.C. Garfield initially survived the shooting, but died of infection several weeks later. He became the second American president to be assassinated. Abraham Lincoln was the first. Ah, so Becca, I heard you're a really good volleyball player. After your games, do you ever celebrate with a pie in the face? No. No? We only have like EGs. I feel like we should start a new tradition. Every time you win a volleyball game, you should get a pie in the face. No. No? That's not the losing team. Okay, then every time you lose, More you get a pie cream. in the face. More whipped cream, okay. It's a nice, beautiful banana and strawberry pie. That's enough, right? More. More? Yeah. And stop, just kidding. Ah, that's a tall tower of whipped cream. Some nice chocolate syrup for you. You might need to take that toothbrush home with all these calories. You don't want to get a cavity. <laughs> and some nice sprinkles for you. There we go. More. More? Fine. The whole bottle. The whole bottle? How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a countdown, please? Five, Five four. four. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> How's it taste? I can't see. I can't see. Here's what we learned. James A. Garfield was the 20th president of the United States. He was a brilliant man who mastered Latin, Greek, and mathematics. Garfield defended the rights of black Americans. Tragically, he was the second president to be assassinated. The winner of our five point star and American flag trophy is Lyric. On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom and belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah! Well, thank you for playing with us, for being such great sports. Both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now, shake hands. Becca, no. Yes. Come on. Just like this. Come on. Oh. <laughs> and give each other a high five. No, no, uh -oh. no. Becca, uh -oh. stop. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <What> to? <laughs> oh. And that's a wrap. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.